Well, here it is. We're going to disassemble it now. So there's six game bit screws in the back. The big ones for consoles. So just start taking them off. And to the magic of editing, all six are off. Now this comes up. Just lift the top part of it straight off. Like that. And then uh, you're going to want to remove the reset button. A reset button and the eject button. There's just kind of just kind of pinch the two little clips on them together and then push it straight out. Or you can pull it on the other side too. That works good. And so now we remove one screw holding the like the little thing, the arm that can't uh, makes it so you can't remove a cartridge while the game's on. It has a little plastic washer above it. Just remove both of them. And by the way, that's the top part of it's all that's stopping a North American Super Nintendo game from running on the console. If I were to turn this on right now, but I don't have the power adapter, the game would run just fine. Anyways, now back onto the top part of the console. You want to remove this little plastic insert uh, thing. And what I found should I just kind of want to went around and pushed all the clips in just a little bit. Uh, they didn't really work all that great. Then when I got to the top, I tried to push the ones on the top in as far as they go. And that's when I started to make some progress. You can see it's starting to come up. Then the next set on the sides, you're going to want something a little stronger, like a, this game bit screwdriver. It's hard and pretty much flat, so that was a good... It's a good choice to try to push those in. And this part's a little bit boring, but just bear with me. The rest of the repair, the disassembly is not like this. So just push them in. Once you get the first couple of sets off, you can just pull it uh, straight off. You don't have to worry about damaging it. It's pretty flexible. And it holds in the uh, little cartridge door. So that just comes right off too. And then you're going to remove the power switch and the little thing that goes over it. Then just take off that little top thing that says Nintendo Super Famicom on it. Don't lose the plastic part that goes over the LED. And then we're back on to the main part of the console. So this little uh, game eject assembly kind of thing. Uh, just kind of wiggle that free of its spot on the console. And then don't forget the spring. Next thing, just pull the ribbon on the controller port straight up and out of its socket. And now we're going to focus on trying to remove the little plastic cover that got treated with bromine, the fire retardant, which makes the console go yellow. Trying to remove that from the rest of the cartridge port uh, controller port assembly. So what I found was just take a little screwdriver, Phillips or flathead, or like the tip of the one that I have that's removable, and try to push those up. And then when you get them most of the way out, then you should just be able to just pull the, the little plastic uh, cover right off. You can see how yellow it is. Now on the rest of it, we're going to take off the power switch now. Two little screws on top and bottom of it. And then for the spot on the controller, or on the board, just pull it straight up and out of its socket. And now take these two screws off of the external soundboard. And I know older Super Nintendos had something like this, the newer ones didn't. And I don't know if that's the case for the Super Famicom, if this is an older model and it has that, or if they all had it. 
But uh, anyways, take a few screws off of that. And now on to removing the RF shield from the board. So there's six screws on it. The two silver ones are the longest, and those go up top by the cartridge port. The other four you are interchangeable. They're all the same size. And then it just lifts off of the off the board. And this whole console looks pretty clean on the inside, I've noticed. And then take off two more screws up there by the heat sink on the top. Or by the uh like all the IO ports. And now the soundboard, there's some screws under it, it just pulls straight up uh, off the board. You can see its little socket on the board and on the so on the soundboard itself. And then we've got one more screw there. Do not get the screws on the top confused, otherwise you could damage the back of the console. Like I did uh, in reassembling it, the console. Anyway, so that's pretty, that is kind of dusty over there. Uh, I'll just spray it with compressed air. And then there's two little metal pieces that you can see right there that need to be taken out. So uh, that's the disassembly of this. Uh, I'm gonna wash off what I can with water and I'm gonna put the rest in hydrogen peroxide to see if I can't remove that yellowing in the next video.